Good morning, I'm uh, Magda Mensi. I'm a researcher from uh, University of Brescia, Italy, and I would like to speak with you about the sinus lift, a subject much discussed in the literature and during national and international conferences. Little remains to be said on this surgical technique. Um, the advent of uh, piezoelectric surgery has allowed us uh, to make safer and conservative. Otherwise, uh, everything has already been widely discussed and described by authors uh, uh, such as Boyne and Tatum. But there is still a lot to say and understand about the differences in terms of long-term success between one versus two stage approach and biomaterials used. So uh, the questions uh, that I have done and I try to answer through the analysis of literature and through my personal experience are when we can place implants in the same time with sinus lift. And uh, if you can place implants, how long you should wait before reopening and load implants. And if you use the two-stage technique, how long after sinus lift it is good to place the implant. Um, there is a biomaterial best for the sinus lift and uh, waiting times vary depending on the biomaterial used. Uh, it's better to cover with a membrane lateral window or not. And there are alternatives to the sinus lift. So Tatum described the use of autogenous bone, allograft and alloplast. In addition, he described sinus augmentation and implant placement as a one-stage and a two-stage technique. Autogenous bone has long been considered the gold standard, but sinografts like bovine, swain and equine bone and alloplast, so synthetic bone substitutes like beta tricalcium phosphate are much discussed too and seem to have very good results too. Some authors have proposed sinus augmentation without the use of a biomaterial. So it's very difficult to answer to these questions, also because many trials compare different sinus lift procedures and known of these indicated that one procedure re reduced prosthetic or implant failures when compared to the other. It is difficult to provide clear indications with respect to which sinus lift procedures should be evaluated first. However, priority for me should be given to those interventions that are simpler, less invasive, involve less risk of complications and reach their goals within the shortest time frame. So sure, about all of these things I try to speak with you during the conference. Thank you.